ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, comrades of all kinds. Thanks for joining me no matter where you're at cross country around this big, beautiful globe. We got to talk about this bootball Gonzalo Lira getting hemmed up in Kharkov, Ukraine. Now, let's get this out of the way. Nobody should be locked up for doing journalism, even if it's citizen journalism, whatever shouldn't really matter right citizen journalism you're part of an organ who gives a shit it's journalism you're expressing uh an opinion a lot of facts go go along with that too right nobody should be hemmed up for that just because it upsets the government it's absurd and look the government in kiev is fascist in my opinion and it's pretty obvious not just because of Azov Battalion or Right Sector or these other freaking clowns. It's pretty obvious based on the laws that they keep passing in and on who they worship and what they ban in the country. They worship a murderous, homicidal, genocidal maniac like Stepan Mandera who killed hundreds of thousands of Poles, Jews, Gypsies, and others. Ladies and gentlemen, they ban the Russian language, which is absolutely unacceptable. About 40% of the country speaks it first. That's ethnic Russians in ethnic Ukrainians. Think about that. You know, some ethnic Ukrainians speak it first. Most speak ethnic Ukrainian first. Same with most ethnic Russians speak ethnic Russian first. Then they speak Ukrainian second. They've banned religions that are the most popular, religious institutions that are the most popular in those areas. It's called the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, but, all right, you know, it's highly attended by the Russian ethnicity and, like I said, some ethnic Ukrainians as well. That's not acceptable. You're banning religions, religious, religious sects. You're banning. You're banning languages. You're banning activist organizations. You're banning communist parties, socialist parties. Uh, you're banning media organizations. You're banning unions. Isn't that what Hitler did? <laughs> and by the way, don't, you don't need to answer that question. That's what Hitler did. You know, first they came for the socialists. Then they came for the trade unionists. Then they came for the Jews, right? This is not good. This is absolutely unacceptable, ladies and gentlemen. But this is where we're at now. Make no doubt about it, Gonzalo Lira has spent his entire life pushing the same right-wing ideology. He's uh, Mr. Pinochet did nothing wrong. You know, Pinochet, one of the most right-wing despots in human history. Killed thousands, disappeared thousands more, meaning he killed thousands more, right? Imprisoned and tortured hundreds of thousands and violated the rights of millions, Okay. I mean, come on, what are we talking about here? And uh, look, this is the dictionary definition of reaping what you've sowed. You've promoted a global Nazi ideology, and now they're coming to get you. <laughs> it's, it's fucking unbelievable. Uh, he still needs release. You can't arrest him for this. I mean, it's, but what, what are you going to tell Nazis? Now, what can we do? You can contact the Chilean embassy. Because he is Chilean American. You can contact the American Embassy. You can contact the Ukrainian Embassy. You can contact the UN. You can contact media organizations. And by the way, we have got to get Marat Verret shut down. This website has assassination lists on journalists all over the place, kids all over the place, activists all over the place. It needs to be shut down. Cloudflare needs to shut down Marat Verretz. If I decided to start a website that said, you know what? Here are the Nazis in Center County we want to freaking blow up. Here are the Nazis in Cameron County we want to, you know, hit with artillery. Here are the, you know, Nazis in prison we want to shiv. <laughs> you know, we're going we're gonna to gas these ones over there. You know, like... If I made a list like that, it would have to be shut down. You can't carry a list like that. You can't carry a website like that. This is an outrage. If I was doing that towards right-wing Nazis and Confederates, it would be shut down. The same thing needs to happen 
when these Nazis are doing it to people who are socialists, communists, anti-fascists, anarchists, just regular folks who say, you know what? We don't like Nazis. <laughs> we don't like you. And we don't have to agree with you. We beat you in elections after election after election. So we don't have to do what you say. Now, look. I'm going to leave it at that. You know what to do. Hit up the Chilean embassy, American embassy, Ukrainians. Hit up media organizations. Get this freaking guy out of it. He's a total idiot. He's a blockhead. Okay? His politics are the worst. They're odious. But you can't jail people for telling the truth about the war. It's absurd. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.